Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw, when clearly up in the corner it says SmackDown. We just passed WrestleMania, which means the new season for the WWE begins tonight. There's one question people always ask me. Why do you wrestle? I ask myself the same question every morning, feeling the pain. But I do it for so many reasons. The rush of adrenaline, the roar of the crowd, the glory of the championship. But I know there's more to it. Maybe I'm doing this to find an answer. Maybe when I get to the top of this squared circle, I'll find out something about myself. Maybe I won't find out anything. But I guess I'll step into that ring again tonight because I know the view from there is unbelievable. WrestleMania was a huge success, but the dust has not settled just yet. That main event was awesome, <laughs> or was it? I think the fans had trouble sleeping last night. Then we should apologize ahead of time you might have trouble sleeping tonight as well. Oh, cool. Eric Bischoff. What's up, man? Hey, Pigeon. As you probably know, I'm the GM of Raw. And as the GM, I have a certain duty to provide the best quality show to the fans. But you're a smart guy, so I don't need to explain this to you. Don't let the pressure get to you. And... Welcome to Monday Night Raw. All right, very cool. So let's walk around the locker room, see if there's anybody back here. Oh, cool, The Undertaker. What's up, man? I'm a big fan. You obviously came here for a reason. Before you wet yourself, you might want to give me that reason. Um, well, that was kind of rude. Yeah. What do you think of that? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm not real sure. You got a lot of guts coming in here and doing what you just did. Not a lot of brains. But I admit you've got some guts. And if there's anything I like, it's somebody who's got guts. But wait. Could you do that for me one more time? Because I don't believe that I saw what I just saw. Um, sure. Okay. Well, now I'm gonna turn around and run like hell. Ah, we didn't back down. And we got an SP point. That's a big deal. But you know what? We're not done in the locker room yet. Let's go see Eric Bischoff real quick. Ah, what do I want? I want a title shot. That's what I want. So you want to, yeah, I just said that. These are the titles that I can challenge for. All right, what do we got going on here? Um, how about the Intercontinental title? There's a good a place to start as any. Okay, then I'll schedule the match for tonight. Excellent. And I'm sure you're going to make it an exciting match, right? If this isn't a great match, then you might not get one of these title shots again. Okay, so no pressure. Thanks for dropping by. Thank you. All right, very first match on Raw for the Intercontinental title against Christian. And, oh, by the way, our character's name is Tim Ford. <laughs> In case you wanted to know. And here he comes in all his pageantry. Yeah, he looks ready to go. Debuting here in the WWE for the first time and getting a shot for the Intercontinental title is a big deal. I hope he's up to the challenge. Because Christian is no pushover. He is in fact one half of one of the best tag teams I've ever seen in my life. And our current Intercontinental Champion 
Hey, did you just split me off? I don't think Christian ever really got his due with this company. Fared much better in TNA. Oh, okay. I guess he didn't flip me off. That was just him being all kinds of ultra cool. Okay, for our first match with this company, this is not a small challenge. And we'll see if Tim Ford is up to it. Oh, blocks a drop kick. And opens it up with a full Nelson slam. Yeah, he's come to play. Oh, right off the bat, Christian with one of his super moves, reverse swinging DDT. That could be it. That could be it. Oh, not quite yet. I honestly thought he had him there, but... Oh, Fireman's carry into a neckbreaker and immediately going for the choke. And a Cobra Clutch, it would appear as if he's targeting the head. Christian takes him in the corner again, running clothesline into an unprettier right off the bat. This is it. This is it. There's no getting up from that. Well, it was nice knowing you. And we're at the one, the two, and no, no. Looks like having to drag Pigeon away from the ropes cost him valuable seconds. And Pigeon takes him in the corner. And oh, like a figure four. And there's a move taken right out of Christian's playbook. Oh, and went for a flying senton. Did he connect with any of that? That was kind of sad, actually. But still targeting the head. And nice roll up from behind. There's some vintage Eddie Guerrero for you right there. And didn't get him stiff knees to the head. He's come with a game plan. Oh, what's he got coming? What's he gonna do? Oh, wow! Standing roundhouse kick straight to the head. That, that would put anyone down. This is it. This is over. He got him. He got him in short time. We've got a new player on the scene, folks. Christian is livid. Oh, what's he doing? He's not done. Come on, you won the championship. You don't need to do this. Oh, rock bottom. Okay, debuting on Raw and winning the Intercontinental Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. And we will see you next week on Monday Night Raw. Even though more than likely it'll still say SmackDown on the screen. Good night, everyone.